Hello y'all, this is the strategy game Hearts of Iron 4, and with that said, this video is going to act as part 1 of a France Bonaparte Path playthrough. Before we get things underway, here is some brief history on France. Despite the devastation of the Great War, France has been on the road to recovery thanks to a strong economy. However, the depression has still affected the country and the new German regime has no interest in paying the war reparations stipulated by the Treaty of Versailles. When the treaty was signed, a French marshal famously remarked that it was not peace but an armistice of 20 years. Those 20 years are now rapidly running out. We have begun, let's go to our national overview, and we have like seven national spirits and they are London Naval Treaty Signatory Victors of the Great War, this jointed government protected by the Maginot Line, full employment, p political violence, and inefficient economy. So that's what we start off with, and we are, well, the ruling ideology of the country is democratic, and we have one of the most advanced militaries in the world with 74, well, most, one of the largest militaries in the world. We are a major power, after all. We have 74 divisions in the army. 14 fleets. We're going to merge all these ships together into one massive fleet and 11 air wings. So we have territories, say, in Africa as well as in Asia and a few other places. We're also kind of in, we're in South America a little bit. And research slots available. We have only three. Let's research now. Let's research basic machine tools as well as construction one and electronic mechanical engineering just some starter stuff there let's now go and grab the army get a unit established army one get these guys here good and we're probably gonna have three armies for the main well main i mean european france probably and then everyone else would just be garrison troops that would just protect the colonies and here's a lot of mountaineer units on the border with italy who is fascist, and get these guys here, good, establish a new army, let's have Alphonse Drun lead these guys, that's the second army, they now have their commander, and we have a few more units we have to grab, get these guys here to the second army, and we have the third army established, oh wait, I gotta fix this, fix that now, and third army is gonna be led by Charles de Gaulle, and let's put the entire army group, the first army group on the border with the German Reich. And as for these units in Africa, we're going to take the Groupement de Maroc here, out of Morocco, and send them to the Second Army, and leave the other units here that are effectively garrison, I mean they're colonial brigades, but I guess they're garrison troops, give them to Henry Friedenberg, who is, his job is just to protect the, to protect North Africa, well any garrisoned locations overall. Let's get this cavalry group here also moved up, it's a cavalry division move them to Europe, get this unit in Algiers, good, establish a lot of just garrison these area, area defense please, guard our ports effectively in Algeria, Tunisia, and our, well, French Morocco, and in French West Africa, we do need to watch our ports there, Africa does have some resources we need to be careful to protect, get this unit here, the Senegal troops, done, this unit from Equatorial Africa, I believe that's called, just garrison this also, that is going to be accomplished now, and Madagascar, we have a unit in Djibouti as well, I think, I believe so, or no we don't, whatever, we'll send a unit to garrison that when possible, get that started now, and let's go over to Asia, where we have our Indochina troops, garrison these areas please, get these divisions here, the Tonkin division is going to be moved over to the front line with Germany, well the Franco-German border, so put them with Army 1, move this unit to Army 4, and get this unit in the north, the Cochina, the division, the Cochinchine, Cambodge, well it's, I think it's some kind of Cambodia, Indochina division, whatever, let's grab them, send them to Army 3, good, now unassigned divisions, we have some left still in France, oh we have a few left, yeah, Get these guys to Army 4. Where are they even located? Let me just pan, yeah, right click on them. They're in North Africa. Here's a standard infantry division. I just want to go through all these individually just to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Oh, these guys are on the border. 
with Germany, give them the Army 1. Good, Army 1. We have, like, we have so many divisions. Oh, this is the units we have in Syria, in the Middle East. The, well, France got a little bit of territory out of the Ottoman Empire when it fell apart. So garrison Syria and Lebanon, please. We'll guard the ports in this area. And I think that's it for all of our divisions. Free civilian factories. Let's build some civilian factories in, in Ildan, France, Ildi, France, wherever the infrastructure is best, ultimately. And no national focus set. We're going to complete and revive the national bloc. The political landscape is growing more and more radical by the day. The left whispers and making common calls with the communists. What is needed now is strong, stable leadership. And some Pierre Laval is going to get tenacious negotiator once this focus is done. And free military factories, put more on weapons, well, infantry equipment, low manpower, I am aware. Get some, get a handful of colonial divisions deployed. They're in our training queue now. We're going to put these, well, have these guys be recruited and send them off to go guard colonial France. We may have potentially, we may potentially fight Italy in the future, so I need to be careful and have some troops on standby. May have a another army established. I would just watch the border with the, with the what is it the, with the Italians. And if Germany chooses to go and well, they choose to remilitarize the Rhineland. I'm not going to oppose it. I could oppose it and get us into a civil war and a war with Germany. But I'm not going to do that. And let me get all my navy here. Bring all these ships to France. Like every single fleet here. All these task force and Algiers, for example. Just grab them. And we're going to merge this whole group in Brest and Brittany. And just have them be established as one big death stack. As you do, it's the standard tactic for navies in Hearts of Iron 4. And then we'll just break it apart as needed. So 130 ships there already. They're all going to be one force now. We still got to wait for a few more ships coming from, say, Asia and Africa, probably, I think. Is that it? Are you all here? No? Okay, they're still getting here. There we are. They are so fast. Wow. The units from Asia have arrived. Let's get Francois Francis Darlan, Darlan to lead them. He's one of our best admirals. He is. Well, he is one of our best admirals, yeah. And that is done now, so revive the national bloc will be completed soon. I wonder what Germany is going to do. They could potentially have a civil war if they choose to go down the opposed Hitler route, but who knows? I am sort of curious. Let me establish an intelligence agency, just so I have one. I can get an idea of what focuses Germany is going to be up to. Because they are fascist Italy and fascist Germany will potentially try to attack us later down the line. So I'm a little weary there. And revive the national bloc is going to be done. Here's a division making its way from Vietnam or Indochina. I think there's one more unit that has to make it or they already got here. I guess they already got here. And keeping a close eye on this situation in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is trying. They're pushing back Italy a little bit. They even have some units encircled. But they may get our capitals just one province away from falling, and now it's under attack. So Ethiopia, despite their okay, and now the German, yeah, what is this? German civil war. German and Germany's embroiled in a civil war that could make things easier for us down the line. I don't know, but let's complete utilize the leagues. It is a sad fact that political violence has become commonplace in France. If the country is to survive the threat of communist re revolution, we must not shy away from the help of people who can and will meet the communist, communist in the street if it comes to that. And this is going to give us some decisions to rally the leagues and unleash La Kugul, or whatever that is there. And Turkey remilitarizes the Turkish, well, the Straits here, like the Dardanelles and such. And we have founded our intelligence agency. Good. So we have the German military junta versus the German Reich. I imagine the German military junta will most likely win. They typically do. I've never seen the AI lose. Well, non-aligned Germany lose the Civil War. It could happen, potentially, but I've never seen it. We're just going to spectate that with, like, the almost, well, the bulk of the French military on the German border. Keeping a close eye on that. And some event we're going to have soon about the Second London Naval Conference. That just limits how big the ships we can build are. Here's some new divisions. Send them to the 4th Army. Who's going to go garrison some places? Thank you. Research slot available. Research mechanical computing. That is done now. 
and Japan abandons the naval tree. That was fast. Wow. Anyone else going to abandon it? Well, escalator clause is going to be invoked. That was quick. And let's recruit a uh, recruit a, a operative. Give the ling linguist Jeannie Russell. That's good. Go watch the Germans, please. Keep a close eye on them, cause they are our rivals. Even if they are cu currently dealing with a civil, even though even though they are currently dealing with a civil war, we got to be careful. And let's grow some rubber plantations in Madagascar. Or no public demands rearmament. Sure. And they want rearmament, so they're going to get rearmament. That's what they demand. Ethiopia was annexed by Italy. That war is over in Africa. Italy got what they wanted, and that invasion is finished. They're sending back all their divisions, figures. And the German military junta is losing some ground, it appears, or no. I mean, they have help from Sweden, I think. Well, actually, no, they're just improving relations, or improving relations with Sweden for some reason. And in our focus tree, let's complete here. Don't worry about the national national regeneration, guys. Let's just complete the Council of Rambouillet. With the country in turmoil, the people look for a strong leader. It has become clear that republicanism has failed the French people, and it is time for the natural rulers of France to return. But first, the groundwork must be laid for a restoration of the monarchy. And once this focus is done, non-aligned as an ideology is going to become it's going to become more popular and the non-aligned ideology in parts of iron 4 is a very how to say it's not aligned it's not fascist it's not communist it's not democratic and so it's basically if it's not one of those three things it's where every other how to say political system goes to in the game which means non-aligned and hoi 4 can it's as how to say this Non-aligned is, is the ideology, for example, for anarchist as well as monarchist. So, you may see an anarchist state with a non-aligned ideology. You may also see a monarchy with a non-aligned ideology. It's just how it works. It's just whatever cannot be fitted into fascism, communism, or democracy, which are basically set up, as far as I know, for three, what it, what is usually the three main factions for World War II, which is the allies the axis and the common turn and let's get an army logistics guy or no let's just save our political power can we get anyone to boost our non-aligned ideology at all i would like that please can we get anyone here national integrist integralist no he's not going to work fascist demagogue we have a hawk guy i guess never mind it's not going to matter just say political power for now though and we have a research slot available let's make the well let's research Support equipment one, that is done. The German military junta is advancing hard upon the German Reich and they're losing ground. Hitler is not having a fun time at all there. And there's the Spanish Civil War that is going on. All right then, and we just gotta, what can we do with our military? Let's just have them do exercises or something perhaps. Also, let's bring army four into army group one and just have them be there until and there's renewal of the Rome protocols the council of Rome Rambouillet is done now let's complete revise the constitution the republican constitution was always intended to be a stopgap measure that has been allowed to persist for far too long now we will rewrite it to allow a monarchy to return and this focus said well it will give us a national spirit called constitutional revision which will take a year to be well, it will take a year before it disappears, and while it's going on, we'll get some more weekly stability. And we'll need that constitutional revision national spirit to be gone for us to be able to get our monarch in power, ultimately. So we're just going to have to wait until 1937 a little bit. Probably like late mid, mid to late 1937. Say October or December. October, November or December. Somewhere in that range. And the junta continues their march. They have cut the Reich in half, who is holding out in Bavaria and East Germany. But they're crumbling. I think they lost Prussia. Yes, they did. They did lose Prussia to the junta. And in Spain, the nationalists are pushing. They are trying to take Madrid. There's some cut off Republican units, units in Pais Vasco and well, near Bilbao, Bilbao, in that area. So that's happening. 
and world tension is currently at 6%, which isn't too high, but it's 1936 still, so it makes sense. And can we get a, a get an advisor? Yeah, we cannot get an advisor. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. So we have our military just garrisoning everything we control effectively. Well, the fourth army is doing that. I still want to establish an army just to keep an eye on the French border. And with that in mind, how's equipment looking? We were in a bad infantry equipment deficit. Go down to one colonial brigade. And that didn't really help. Well, it helped slightly, but it's still significant. Why do we have such a bad deficit with infantry equipment? That is terrible. Did our divisions not have their own equipment or something? Not really sure what happened with that. And it revised the constitution is nearly done. Good. And now we have to do something else in the focus tree. So I suppose let's complete a royal wedding in Brazil. That has happened. We'll complete, say, intervention in Spain. Or no, let's ban communism. That will be done. We'll get rid of the national spirit, political violence, which is not really doing too much for us, but I think it's going to get rid of, like, say, a threat of a civil war, maybe. And it says here, it says, while it is inconceivable that anyone could seriously want to visit the chaos and bloodshed of a communist revolution upon their own fatherland, it appears that there are some amongst us who would do just that. We cannot allow them to conspire against the state any longer. The harshest, the harshest measures must be taken, and that will be done shortly. We also got, we must get rid of the national spirits, victors of the Great War, this jointed government, and full employment, possibly. We'll have to do something about that. I guess begin rearmament? Yes, we'll have to begin rearmament and the value to Frank. That is something to think about. We could get a... A fourth research slot. I may go ahead and do that, honestly. Yeah, then do Victors of the Great War. Well, begin rearmament and such. The FM chill shot, then all that's been researched. Good. And radio, get that research, please. Now go to infantry equipment. Oh, we got the support equipment already. My bad. Get excavation one, as well as improved machine tools. We're almost at 150 political power. Is the Civil War over yet in Germany? No, but it looks like the German Reich is making their last stand in Munich, and that's going to end in defeat for them. Because it's, I mean, it's their last stand, so that isn't too surprising. And Eastern Germany is not going to have to be taken, well, the rest of it is not going to have to be taken for the Junta to win, since Berlin has already fallen. And now in the focus tree, what to do here? I'm going to get rid of that victors of the Great War national spirit so badly. We also got to get rid of this jointed government. Where do we get rid of that? This jointed government. This jointed government. Oh, we got to have... Let me see here. This jointed government. No. No. What, get, what gets rid of... Oh, repeal the law of exile. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get rid of that. Victors of the Great War thing then begin rearmament. The 20-year armistice, Marshal Folk, predicted in 1919, is rapidly coming to an end and the world is looking increasingly likely to erupt into war in the next few years, we must be ready. And this focus will grant us two military fact well, four military factories. It's going to be two military factories in two different states. And I know the path we're going to go down, the Bonaparte path for France, so it's, since we're going to be seeking to emulate Napoleon I and not the other Napoleon that kind of got destroyed by Prussia, we are going to be having a lot of war. So I'm going to need to have France ready to go for that when that time arrives. And I don't need no victors of the Great War national spirit there because it's going to be bad if we do have that. Just like land doctrine calls plus 50%. War support minus 5%. That is rough. And we have, who can I get here? Backroom backstabber. Maybe, I don't know, no. War industrialist, maybe. Silent workhorse. We'll probably get the, I don't know. At least get the silent workhorse for now for the political power gain. That's going to help us slightly. We're getting more per day, just a tiny bit. And this German Civil War has to end soon. The And, oh, wait, there's a, now Civil Wars in the Baltic. Lithuania is... Wait, no, that's Latvia. Lithuania is... Well, Estonia is fighting the Estonian Independent Repu SSR, who's this puppet of the Soviets. And the Estonian People's Republic just won. Meanwhile, Lithuania is taking on the Lithuanian independent SSR, who is a puppet of the USSR, 
how shocking. I wonder if the Soviets were involved in any way in this. They probably, they may have been, who knows. And Estonia, oh yeah, that war did not last long at all. The communists lost hard there. And I'm just waiting to get this focus down here, begin rearmament. After that, we'll do aggressive focus to get a chief of the army, well, Maurice Gamelon, who will give us a division attack buff, as well as some army experience daily. So we need to take advantage of him, who's going to make our divisions just do more attack damage. And the German Reich has been defeated. We're most likely, we're going to have to see, well, if it's not a, if it's not a democracy, we're going to see the Kaiser come back to power in Germany, which is going to be interesting when we have our... Well, when we have a Napoleon leading France. That will be very interesting indeed. And let's complete aggressive focus now. It says here, We cannot sit idly by as enemies move in on our borders, and we cannot leave our allies to fend for themselves in a war scenario. Prepare our army. Gamelon is the man for the job. Free military factories. Put them on gun production. Get that deficit down, please, I beg of you. And we need to probably make some more airplanes. I have no factories on airplanes at all. Yeah, let's change that. Fighters, close air support, there we go. What's this here? Escalator claws invoked. That's going to get rid of the the naval treaty. It's no longer going to be much of a thing. Anarchist uprising in Spain, the games of the XI Olympiad. And can I get Maurice Gimmel on now, please? Or no, I can't just yet. Oh, wait. Yes. No, i got to wait. Oh, come on. i got to wait slightly. i just got to wait till I get that focus done. And the anarchists are trying to push, and the United Kingdom concedes to trade unions. So I can only imagine the, US, the UK is going to probably join the common turn down the line, or they're at least going to go communist, more than likely. That is something you only see, that event is only something you really see if the United Kingdom is trying to go communist. And in terms of ruling ideology, improved machine tools is done. Let's now research construction too. German military junta, what are you going to do? Bring back the Kaiser or restore democracy? Well, bring back the well, kind of restore the Weimar Republic in some way. What are they going to do? We'll see. I'm going to bet on bringing back the Kaiser. That is my assumption on the matter. And modify Officer Corps. Can we get this focus done? Please. Just want to get it done. Please. get. I want Maurice Gamelon as the chief of the army. Here's a new division. Send them off to Army 4. Good. Radio research is completed. And let's get the focus. Concentrated Industry 2 started. Aggressive focus is completed. There we are. Let's now start, say, Battle of Maneuver or Air Dominance. I don't know. I mean, the goal focuses a lot on armor, but I mean, I want some close air support, so Air Dominance. The development of the airplane has created a third flank for the army to worry about. We must secure this flank or face catastrophe. I don't want tons of tanks. We're going to get planes instead. Just close air support and fighters is what I'm going to go with. And can I get that Maurice Gamelon as chief of the army? Yes. He's now the, ar the army offense expert. Is now the chief of the army. Spirit of the academy. Well, for the spirit of the academy, let's go with bold attack. Because we're going to be very offensive oriented as France down the line. Now let me move these divisions here. Take them over to Belgium and the Netherlands. The Hindenburg disaster has occurred. Get these divisions. There we go. And just watch Belgium for now. Air dominance will be completed shortly. Good, and it is. Just got to get it done. Excavation 1 is completed. Let's now complete, say, we'll start researching. What can I research? Research. Research 1936 fighters. There's the Carlist Uprising in Spain. So there's the four-way four -way Spanish Civil War, which is pretty standard in Hearts of Iron 4. If you have all the DLC, it just happens constantly. I don't think I've ever seen a, I don't think I've ever seen a, two what just a nationalist Spain, Republican Spain, civil war, since La Resistance that DLC came out. I honestly haven't seen it at all. And air dominance is going to be done shortly. Please get there. Just get there. I'm waiting for it. I just got to pass the time. And looking over to our council of well, how many more days do we got to wait here for this focus to be done? constitutional, I mean national spirit. So constitutional revision will be removed on 7th of October. We have a few more months to wait. Probably get a couple more focuses complete, but at least one more focus. And the first enemies we're going to potentially have is, well, according to the Avenge Waterloo focus, 
we are going to go to war with Belgium, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. That's who we're going to try and take out first. And Amelia Earhart circumnav circumnavigates the globe. Merge these units here. Good. Move these units here in English Channel. Great. And I got to be sure to start researching naval invade more naval invasion tech down the line. I also have to deal with the fact I'm going to have a confrontation with the with the British Air Force soon. And there's a civil war in Japan. It's democracy versus fascist, I think. Or at least not aligned versus democracy. Let me check. And now I'm going to build military factories for some reason. And no national focus set. Let's start researching. I mean, let's get the focus cast focus done. That will give us a research bonus for close air support models. 100% research bonus, which will help us out. And this Japanese civil war is between... It's between fascist Japan and democratic Japan. Also, Korea is independent now. And I don't think... Japan has no puppets, don't they? I don't think they do. Yeah, they lost all their subjects. So these guys are free to do whatever they want. Well, except for Ming Kuku. They're now a puppet of the Imperial Kwantung territories. Also, what happened... Oh, there's the German Empire, like I thought. So there is... Wilhelm II is going to come to power any day now. And Lithuania, unlike Estonia, well, the non-aligned non government in Lithuania was unable to hold, well, hold back the communists, and they lost. So now the Lithuanian Independent SSR is a thing, and the UK is going to go down decolonization. They're going to start just breaking, well, intentionally having their empire have territories break off so they can pursue their own self-determination and such. And can I have my navy build some more ships here, but move them around, please? Thank you. Good. And I really hope we can get this naval invasion stuff pulled off. I'm going to have to invade. I just got to focus on invading the British first stone eye. Belgium can honestly wait. So can. I can just have one army focus on, say, Belgium and the Netherlands. He was my best commanders here. Have Charles de Gaulle focus on Belgium. We'll have the rest of Army Group 1 try to land in England and advance into Britain down the line. So get a handful of divisions here, put these guys at ports, cause time is of the essence. Put one army at Dunkirk and one at Dieppe, so army one goes to Dunkirk. Army two will go to, say, Dunkirk. Good. And Turkey presses the Hate issue. No. We're not, we're not going to give that up easily. You can fight us if you want to. I wouldn't mind it. It'd be fine. And can we get the treaty of... Okay, I can't repeal the law of exile yet, but get air ground cooperation completed. Good. And then, since we're getting ready to, to eventually fight the British and the Belgians and the Dutch, move our planes, the bulk of the... Move all of the French Air Force effectively to our board... Well, to the English Channel. Put them near that area. Have this unit do close air support missions over, say, the English Channel. I mean, do... Na what is this? Naval strike missions to target English ships down the line. And let's have these units operating out of Nord, well, these squadrons operating out of Nord past the Calais. They'll focus on southern England now, just have their targets established at this time, so we don't have to worry about micro microing that later. And the first army, let's give you your orders to try, well, constitutional revision is done. And now, once this focus, let me cancel this, actually. We're going to go ahead and complete the focus, complete the repeal, repeal the law of exile. And no head of a French royal family nor their heir are allowed on French soil without express permission. Before we can have the triumphant return of the monarchy, we must dispose of this annoying little obstacle. And this will give us 120 political power and get rid of the national spirit disjointed government, which is quite annoying. And that is done now. Decisions. i got to get a chief, well, more military high command guys. Let's get, say, who can we grab here? We have... Get Charles Hunchinger for Army Logistics. So Army 1, we're going to focus on trying to take, say, take Plymouth. Also Portsmouth, Portsmouth. Take that area, please. Attempt to take it anyway. Meanwhile, the second army is going to go for Dover. And we'll give them four divisions for that operation, because it is a pretty critical location. I am imagining the British will have it heavily defended. Probably so four infantry divisions will have to do that. And that is going to be our plan for an invasion of Britain when we eventually challenge the British. And let's research excavation two. We'll start doing that 
well, start researching Excavation 2, which will take like 176 days. Once we get done with the repeal, the Law of Exile focus, we can go straight away to putting a Bonaparte in power for France. So we don't have much longer until we will see the next Napoleon, which, yeah, we'll he will arrive soon, effectively. And we have some free dockyards, build some Minerva-class submarines. They're not the best ones in the world, but there are still submarines. Put these guys here. Good. I'm going to have to really count on surprising the British, the Belgians, and the Dutch. And hopefully, it, they will not make things hard for us. And also, I'm hoping the UK will continue along its way with its decolonization efforts. Although, to be fair, but since we're going to attack relatively early, they won't really have too much time to decolonize greatly, which could be an issue. So, I'm a little worried about that. At least we could maybe pick up some puppets, and let's get improved inventory equipment. One, researched, repeal the Law of Exile. Only has about, well, say, 30 days left, or 31 or 32 days. And we have some free dockyards. Put them on this heavy ship hull here. Modify Officer Corps. Let's go with the capital ships guy to give, well, a capital, what is he exactly? He is a, not sure, I guess a capital ships expert. He's going to give capital ships more attack and more armor. And Spain request aid. No, I'm not going to help them. They're on their own. Outdated equipment and production. Let's replace the old stuff we're making, which is the, well, the planes I sort of forgot to give factories to for their production, which is awkward, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and research the next thing for close air support. That will take a few days, but we do have a research bonus. And Austria joins to pack the Rome, which is a faction created by Italy. And the USA announces interventionist policies. The Soviet opposition requests support. There's no point. Oh, sure. Supply them with rifles. Why not? And proclaim the Third Empire. Get it done. And it says here, the Bonapartists may be considered the outsiders in the struggle for the throne. But they carry with them the dream of a time when all of Europe bowed to the emperor of the French. And so non-aligned will become the ruling party and Parti Bonapartiste will be that, well, the non-aligned party in charge of the country and Napoleon VI will ascend to the throne. And at this point, military high command, let's grab a commando. Well, no. Let's get more, say, air superiority, get a guy for that good and how's our air force looking Where are all these guys up here now well the entire air force is effectively here focus on southern flan southern france well southern england extensively and there is a soviet civil war going on now that is wow that is crazy so the soviets are going to have a fun time there so it's between the soviet bloc led by Yosef stalin and it consists of the Lithuanian people's republic and they're fighting against the union of soviet Republics who are based out of Ukraine, I believe. They may not have the best advantage in the world. Maybe they have more divisions or something, or they may just pop up more. I have no idea. But that's pretty bad for the Soviets. Like, I imagine half their military just kind of disappeared. That is rough. And let's get more military factories made, please, in preparation for war. And political advisor, let's grab the get the war industrialist to give us a bonus, well, give us faster military factory construction speed, which is all part of the plan. More military factories have been constructed. Well, one new military factory. Put them on the MAS-36 production. Here's a new colonial brigade. Send them off to Army 4, who uses those. And let's recruit more infantry, please. Deploy them in France when possible. And Greek officials at approach us for cap, well, approach us in capital petitioning Petitioning us for investment. Okay, sure. Invest a small amount. Why not? Free dockyards. Put one on convoys. Put the other one on the La Galincier class ship. And the third, well, the French Empire has been proclaimed. And now we are non-aligned and ruling ideology. The country is called the French Empire. And we kept the old flag, but it's, it is what it is. And the new leader of the country is Napoleon VI. And historically... He was the head of the House of Bonaparte from 1926 to 1997. During World War II, he served in the French Foreign Legion as well as the French Resistance. Following the end of the conflict, he became a successful businessman. And let's complete Avenged Waterloo now. That will take 70 days. 
we got to have our navy ready and the military ready as a whole. And it says here, the history of Napoleon I will be forever divined, well, defined by his greatest defeat. If we want to succeed, we must show that we can win where he has lost. And that will be, we got to have our triumph. we just got to defeat the British and avenge Napoleon I. That is our aim right now. And let's make... Okay, never mind. Get more guns manufactured. we got to build up the French military hard. And Napoleon VI has claimed the throne of France. And that is done. Modify Officer Corps. Spirit of the Army go with tip of the spear. Yes, and that will increase naval invasion capacity, I believe. So with that in mind, let's add more units to these orders here. So I'm glad we can take advantage of our numbers more for naval invasion. So this is going to really... I hope it helps. I really do hope it helps with these troops trying to land in Britain. And that's several more divisions there. And also assign a handful of troops here. Some armored units will try to establish a... Try to land on the beach along... Well, try to land in some towns and cities alongside infantry divisions. We already have plan for the operation. And that is that. So those orders will be ready to go soon. They need naval supremacy, I know. So I'm going to have to deploy these ships. I'm going to get naval supremacy for maybe a day. And let me give a trade to Darlon here. Give him Lone Wolf. That will make fleet size penalty lower. And give him make him a smoke, smoke screen specialist. Or something like that. Which it's useful for retreating. Maybe. I think it is anyway. Let me check to be sure. It is in fact. Yes, it's good for retreating. And we no longer get the effects of small investments in the Greece. It says here, it says, where is it? Smoke screen specialist, retreat decision chance plus 25%. I mean, at least if he retreats, that won't guarantee our Navy will be destroyed. I'm pretty sure the Royal Navy will be a lot larger than us. And what is this about? Germany lifts the exile of Wilhelm II. Let's issue a diplomatic objection. Since a Hohenzollern, who's now in power in Germany, was the reason the French Empire effectively came undone in the past. Well, the empire of Wilhelm II returns to the German throne, whatever. The empire Italy abandons a naval treaty. Let's check how the Spanish Civil War is going. And oh my goodness gracious. It looks like Republican Spain is dominating everyone, aren't they? That is crazy. And right now we have a research slot available. Let's research support equipment here. Support equipment 2, I think it is. And I think I'm going to abandon my naval invasion on Britain for now. Taking the English Channel will probably just be way too difficult. Move all these ships up here to Nordpas de Calais. Get them stationed there. And let's have some planes focus on the low countries instead. We're going to probably invade the Belgians. Then we'll invade the... Invade, what is it? Invade the... British and the Dutch at the same time. We'll go to war with them at the same time. So let's get rid of these fallback line orders here and get ready to go. Charles de Gaulle will be aided by all the army, well, three of the armies of Army Group 1, the bulk of the French military, French army. So they'll focus on pushing into Brussels, for example. And at this point, let me get rid of these orders here for the garrison forces of French, uh, well, for the French overseas territories, well, in Algeria. We'll have to focus entirely just on Africa. So protect Africa and say, well, Madagascar also. Move all these units out of Indochina and Madagascar. Yeah, so just focus mainly on French, Central, and West Africa because the British are going to fight us there in the near future. Let's establish a new type of brigade, a garrison brigade, which is going to be like the Colonial Brigade but slightly smaller. And their objective, well, their task is just to say, guard, they're going to guard the ports of France. So make like ten of these guys, six of them actually, and make more colonial divisions, colonial brigades, whatever. And we need to give our infantry, give them an artillery, or I don't have the, I don't have the military XP anymore, it's whatever though. Had to do it later. And now we're going to be ready more for our war with the Belgians, and then later the later the what is it the British and the Dutch we need the Congo and all that under our control the military well the French the fourth army is getting into position in Africa and such I'm hoping everything goes well with the invasion of Belgium because after that we're going to attack the Dutch and then the British 
Modify Officer Corps, what can we do? Get a theorist, military theorist, Henry Gerold there. Excavation 2 is finished, good. And let me do, say, construction, no. So our research and the next upgrade for army equipment. And let's have this offensive order drawn up and ready to just begin once we attack Belgium. We should heavily, we should easily overwhelm them, I would think. We have more units in Africa now. Good. I may actually, once all the units get into position, I'm going to need to give them more divisions to fight the British with, probably. Just carve up their numbers. We'll just establish more front lines against the British in Africa, just so we can hold them back better down the line. Maybe give them a handful of infantry divisions. I don't know. That may have to work for now. And the Soviet Civil War is over. That has ended. And the end, of, yeah, it's over. And hung, Hungary joined the Pact of Rome. Deploy these divisions here. Deploy these guys here. And deploy all these garrison troops to Africa. As well as these small group, this small unit of, well, these two infantry divisions. Low manpower, yes, I know. These other guys here will be deployed when possible. And I'm hoping that what the units we are going to be sending to Africa will be enough to just deal with the British in the future. And world tension is now at 60% due to how the Soviet Civil War works. It's amazing because the, what is it, yeah, Peace of Moscow, 16.5 world tension. Goodness gracious, they just rocketed it up in the air, didn't they? German Civil War was nothing, but the whole, that was nothing. That, but the Soviet Civil War, however, that is something else, isn't it? That is crazy. It's like a foreign country took it over instead of a civil war ending. So let's declare war now on Belgium. Move in, please. Attack. No national focus set. Let's complete air ground cooperation. And we should have an easy victory here, I'm hoping. The Belgian military should be overwhelmed. Be more aggressive, please. Be far more aggressive. Move in with more troops. Good. And we have the Belgians trying to push from the Congo. It's not going too well for them, though. We're going to make some more infantry equipment with some captured factories. I think they're, I assume they're captured anyway. We took the Wallonia region. We're going to take Brussels now. Good. World tension went down by a little bit. It doesn't matter though. Tank and, take and warp and there's like 12 divisions stuck there. That is unfortunate. They're going to get encircled. Bad. And that war is over. Just take everything. Pass, pass, pass. Take all states. And turn. Done. And world tension is now at 64%. Let's get the units into position now, and we'll declare war upon the British and the Dutch. Well, well, we'll attack the Dutch, then we'll attack the British while that war is in progress, probably. That sounds like a plan. I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. So, are all of our units in Africa yet? No, they got to get there. Yeah, they have a little trip ahead of them. We have some units having to move from Asia, so that is sort of an issue, kind of. They got to get there, please. And let's also put these units here on defensive duty in the Congo, just to watch the British in case they advance there. Get all that done. So are we re ready to go? I'm just, I may wait for the British, what is it? I may wait for the, I may wait more for the 4th Army to get more into position in Africa. Are all these units here? Is the bulk of the troops here? We still have units coming from, say, Laos. They're, where are they at? Let me go to them. Okay, they're in Central Africa now. They're fine. And we need to establish the front lines against the British now. So let's abandon these garrison orders, for example. Focus on Gambia. We'll have to make a second army, of course, but it's whatever. Focus here with four divisions. Good. Have these guys here in... This is Sierra Leone. We'll just defend there with two divisions. Have a few units in, say... What is this? This is Ghana. We'll have to take a port from them, so they actually have a fair amount of troops there, so that may not be completely viable. Get these units here, though. These units in Africa. Put them here on Nigeria's borders. And they are probably going to advance pretty hard from Nigeria, I imagine, so that could be an issue. Establish a new army, please. Army 5, led by Henry Gerald. He's going to hold out in this part of Africa. The aim for him is just to defend those areas and try to just be defensive against the British. So the, the plan has been established. Now let's merge these two fleets here. I think they're merged anyway. Okay, they are merged. What am I thinking? And now let's move this navy up more. Move our navy to, say, 
the Antwerpen, or Flanders, no, Antwerpen, put them there, Flanders, yeah. And let's go ahead and deploy a lot of these divisions here, and have them be ready for any kind of naval invasions of, well, of France. Philippe Leclerc is going to lead them. Good, and let's bring in, let's put them on the coast of, say, Dunkirk and Calais, especially, because I imagine the French will, tr I mean, the British will launch a lot of naval invasions there. And that's what we're going to have to focus on protecting the country from. Carlos Spain has capitulated. Is all the army ready here? They are, I would say. And now let's declare war on the Dutch and prepare to get this war started. I had to worry about world tension hitting, say, 80%. Because if it does, I think a lot of democ the how to say this, democratic governments will be allowed to join factions more. So that could be a tiny issue for us. So let's declare war on the British now. I hope this all works. I don't want my navy to get destroyed. We're going to have to attack the British probably from the from the North Sea area. Just do all that. So let the war begin. Begin these offensive lines here in Africa. See what can go wrong. Probably everything. Take Gambia. Please capture it. Overwhelm the units there. The Netherlands join the Allies. No surprises. Henry Road falls ill. Hold Nigeria. Hold the Congo. Just distract them for now. Just like, yeah, just keep them busy. And we're going to lose ground in Somaliland, it looks like. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, they need to probably just defend their lines in Djibouti. Try to, anyway. Get more equipment made. More rifles, dockyards. Make more ships. And do we have enough fuel for anything? Probably not. Get some from the USA. Or try to trade with them. It may not go so well. And we're going to take some damage with our convoys. Not good. Can I get any more air wings made? No, I cannot. It doesn't really matter not really making a difference there. And the British are trying to land some troops in Dunkirk figures. So let's make some naval orders here. I mean, defensive orders here. Deploy a bunch of these garrison brigades to just go and deter them and try to make sure they don't land any more units in. Make sure they don't capture a port. The Netherlands has capitulated. Good. So now let's take all of Army Group 1 and put them here. Garrison, garrison them there. Who's going to be... Okay, so that's 70... That's a lot of divisions. That's not right, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, yeah, those guys... You guys got to continue. My bad. My bad. Continue with that order, please. Good. Continue here. Hold there. I'm, I did this back, so I didn't realize I'd drag all these other guys in, too. I'm going to maybe lose Ghana. Well, not Ghana, but Togo and Dahomey, probably. And that could be an issue for us if we do may have to try to retreat there. I don't know entirely. Keep holding down here, though. Have these guys hold in the Congo still. They're going to attempt to do that anyway. Meanwhile, the this army here is going to be back on their operation. Good, so back to the battle here. Let's establish some, get some naval invasion orders drawn up, please. And are there any ships here? Move these ships out of their area and put them in... Leo Rodin, Friesland, hope they don't get attacked by anyone, please, in the region. They're just going to be patrolling the area with so many ships. Have our Navy, I mean Air Force, patrol the English Channel for now. Do some naval strikes and close air support. No, air superiority, I mean, just to try and escort the French Navy to their new positions as we are now going to get ready for an invasion of Britain with a lot of divisions. So the First Army will have troops. They'll try to land here and hold. The next force will attempt to land and say Army 2 will send troops to try and land in Newcastle or no. And say, what is it? Try to land here in New yeah, Newcastle. And then the third army will try to have troops take Scotland. And if this all goes well, we should have the British defeated relatively soon. There also is a high chance we'll lose a lot of these divisions and landings on the British coastline. That is very a very high chance we may, we may lose some stuff there. The ships are trying to move into position, get them there. New Zealand's been caught into a war against us. It looks like the French Navy got the port without being annihilated. Great. And we've got to get these units here destroyed before they can take Calais. Annihilate them. Just kill them. Just, to, yeah, destroy those divisions entirely. Get them out of here. Don't take Dunkirk, please. Use last stand if you have to. Force attack. Just keep them busy in Africa. That's all I'm asking of you. And we're not going to be able to take Gambia, aren't we? We are not. That is unfortunate. Just hold time in Africa. Hold the lines in Africa. Retreat, actually. 
Yeah, fall back. These, this, this is lost. Togo and Dahomey are lost. Fall back, though. Fall back. Fall back. Go to this line. That advance on eastern, no, western Nigeria is not going to be viable. And let's fight off this naval invasion. A lot of ships are being sunk, or a lot of battles are taking place. And our sorties into the English Channel. We sunk some submarines. British submarine. We lost some planes. Two British subs. One Dutch sub. Some D British submarines. And the Navy is now in a better position. They got they got to where they needed to be, so focus on the North Atlantic. I mean the North Sea. No, j just stay where you need to be until we got these naval invasion orders drawn up. They just need to get... We just need superiority in the English Channel. I mean in the North Sea. Now let's complete the focus. Flying artillery. That will help our close air support out a little bit. Naval battle took place. Let's now get war support. War propaganda against the United Kingdom, please. Keep fighting off this naval invasion. Move more units into Dunkirk. Destroy these units trying to advance on Dunkirk from the west. Check on Africa. It is going... It, it could be going worse, I will say. It could be going better also. So there is that. Which is unfortunate. Can we take Gambia, please? I don't think we can take it. Decisions available. Someone named Twitch was killed over the English Channel. And we lose some base war support over that. Unlock formation flying. That is done. And do we stop... Oh, they took Dunkirk. That's not good. Well, now they may try to advance more into England. I mean, more into, say, more into France. So, we need to deploy, deploy more units, please. How's equipment looking? Fine. Deploy these units. Did I deploy them? Or no, I added another one to the queue. Deploy these guys. Send Philippe Leclerc more of these garrison troops with the goal of retaking Calais for one. And just tying down some British troops at Dunkirk as their naval invasion there has now successfully landed. We're going to try and kick them out of France, though, before it gets worse. Good thing is for us, if they're doing this, that may distract them from sending some more... That may distract them from having more units to defend England. And let's stop this naval invasion order, please. This is, I mean, this attempt to fight over the North Sea. We're losing a lot of planes for very little. Just move them here, and we'll have them focus on the North Channel soon. I mean, the North Sea. Just have them have a breather for now, those... Squadrons have lost a few ships. Just stop what you're doing. You're now just not even doing anything. Hold. Hold all these air wings. Just hold them back. Have them do naval superiority missions. I mean, interception. Close air support and naval strike orders when ready. But for now, we're just going to pause the French Air Force's operations in the English Channel because it's not going so well. Meanwhile, in Africa, it's going. We are holding the line in Central Africa, but everywhere else in West Africa, Big mess there. Big mess. These guys are cut off, too. Not ideal at all. Can you move some more units away? Or Gambia is going to fall, isn't it? It is, in fact, going to fall. Get away. Just escape. Do we abandon the Congo? I say no. We may end up losing all of West Africa, though. Which is not ideal. Let's attack with all these divisions here. At Dunkirk. Just throw these guys into the sea. Get that done. And the Soviet-Bulgarian Treaty of Mutual Assistance has taken place. We got some stuff attacked by some submarines and a Union. Oh, great, there's more wars. What's the world tension? Please don't be too high. It's 69%. Okay, that's not too bad. If it gets to 80%, we're doomed, effectively. Because the British will try pulling in tons of different people into their faction. And some sh convoys were sunk. Can I deploy my navy yet, please? Are these guys ready? They need a few more days. Just a few more days until they're ready for their naval invasion attempt for England. And Dunkirk is harder to take than usual because, I mean, we have a bunch of 10 width divisions trying to get a victory there. Do we fall back out of West Africa? We may have to. I say abandon all this and move to the Congo. Go defend the Congo, yeah. How's Djibouti faring? Have they lost? Yeah, they lost. That is awkward. Abandon Djibouti. I mean, abandon West Africa for now. We'll hold on to the Congo. And can I launch this naval invasion order? Yes, but we just need naval supremacy. This is where the French Navy's moment comes. Just don't fail, though. This needs to work, absolutely. They're going to do their missions, and there goes the, Brit the French army now. They're setting sail for England. Now it's going to be up to our naval invasion forces to see if they will be up to the task of taking England. Here's a battle occurring. We're losing some ships. The whole, British na the whole French Navy may be annihilated in a battle, but if we can land in Britain... That is so many destroyers gone. If we just... HMS Hood just went wild, didn't they? But a Nelson did also. But if we're able to land in England, it won't matter how many ships we lose. Military factories. Make more weapons, please. And can I get 
more war support. No, I can't. Of course I can't. But this army has arrived. Bring in the first army entirely. With more troops, we have 20-some divisions now that will begin advancing down from Hull. We've got to take the rest of Yorkshire. Get that accomplished, please. All these divisions here got to set sail for England and try not to get annihilated in the process. Be aggressive in how you act. So just take areas, take positions around your port, take Liverpool ultimately, and try and deal with any forces that may confront you. And we have, oh, the other army, and Charles de Gaulle's army made it too. So new order for them. You guys are now going to be landing in Scotland more and trying to take that entire region for a French empire, for Napoleon VI. So let's do this. The French are now pushing more. We have units in Manchester fighting for Liverpool. Supplies may become an issue we have to deal with. Move this motorized unit on. Motorized, advance on London, please. You have the speed. Okay, they have some soldiers there. You have the speed, but you don't have the firepower, I guess. And the unit that was supposed to take Newcastle failed. So Army 2, what can we do with them? Send them to go help out the units in Army 1. So try to take London. Focus on England entirely. We'll go back for Northern England, England later if we have to. Just push here. Take Scythe. Take Edinburgh. Get it all captured. We took Liverpool. And the first army is now moving some troops away from their positions. That's what I don't need, don't need you to do right now. Take, say, Dumfries and this city here, which I think was recently added in an update. This one right here, I think, in Northern England. I could be wrong. Advance on Northern England again. Let's make an effort. Take Birmingham. Capture Birmingham. We need that area under control. Move toward Dover and Bristol. If we can just break the English, this war will be over. How's Africa faring? They are, well, West Africa, well, the Congo is doing better than, say, West Africa calls we effectively abandoned the Congo. I mean, West Africa. There's a few units there. They may get annihilated, though. Get more ships put together. Please, free civilian factories. I need war support to go up. I need more war support. That's what I need. I can't believe I'm doing this with 30% stability and 9% war support, but we are winning. Let's give refuge to Italian scientists or something like that. That will cause stability to drop. Oh, well, that may not have been the best decision. I may regret my choices there, possibly. Keep advancing more into England, though. Take London, take London, take Dover. Good, we took London. Now go for Dover. Take Dover. That's the next big area we need to capture. Move, just smash aside any units you see here. And we have more military factories. Why do the British AI and Holy Force seems to always to avoid guarding the North Sea in sufficient numbers? It's like the most guaranteed naval invasion in the world, it seems. And the... Second Army did not even leave their positions. Good job, guys. Get over here. And get rid of all these orders. Like, what are you guys doing? Some of you haven't even moved. What are these units here? Those are Army 4 troops. Oh my goodness gracious. And now the 17th Army, the 6th Army. Let's just drag them to England for a for a push, all-out push for, from the 6th Army, who has nothing but garrison troops. who may, may get annihilated in the fighting. We'll see. A bunch of we can convert them to infantry divisions later maybe i don't know and we're low on manpower i'm just realizing that now we need a decisive victory here get out of london capture no go south go south take dover take dover take dover and win the war win the war don't stop go motorize go trucks are fast go faster take portsmouth what's their capital now it is what where is their capital take this cavalry unit go for portsmouth go for plymouth and truro over there in cornwall take wrexham there and we've got to take Newcastle. That is the enemy capital at this point in time. That is, okay, so move all these units here. I see them. What are you guys doing? We're trying to move these units around. Get these guys here. Their job is going to be quite simple. These units from Army 2, your job is to take Newcastle. Focus on Newcastle. Destroy whatever units are protecting it. They have so many troops there. Come on. They just had to hold on to the one place we failed to take in a naval invasion. Take Cardiff. Take Bristol. Take everything. The British just overwhelmed this naval invasion. They weren't ready for it. And we're done. We're effectively, we won. We have won. So what we're going to do is I am going to go through this entire peace conference. And we're going to say Netherlands. Take all the states. We'll satellite the, satellite the Dutch East Indies first. Take all states, though. Done. And now it's going to be the French West Indies. Also puppets. Who can we puppet here for the British? Give me... What do we do about their colonies? Can I get the British Raj, please? Sudan, Belize, Malta, oh, British Malaya, British Raj, satellite them. What about Canada? Is Canada going to be able to be made a puppet? 
not entirely sure. We'll have to figure that one out. And I think for the United Kingdom, we're going to leave the United Kingdom, well, Britain itself will become a, it'll be made a puppet, but will take everything to control overseas because they've been occupying it for a long time and I don't think the resistance is going to be so bad if we do this. So get all this done. Unite French, the French Middle East with the rest of French, well, the rest of the French territories. Take all of Egypt, Sudan, and Kenya, all these places in South Africa, Central Africa, Zimbabwe. Take British Somaliland, here, here, here. Kuwait, Qatar, in turn. And we have a few more places. We have the Grab, Modibs, Ceylon, what's this, the Cocoa Islands? That's not, no, Andaman. Take the Cocoa Islands, though. Capture this. Christmas Island. That is done. What is left here? Diego Garcia. All these places in the Indian Ocean. Marturis. Mar Suchayos, in turn. And what's left even? What is even left for us to capture? I think we have the everything they have in the Pacific, don't we? I believe so. Like Malta is also left. Take that to unite all of French South America. Take everything they have in the Caribbean. Good Jamaica, the Bahamas, and the Northern Bahamas, the Southern Bahamas. And let's get this over with. And turn again. And what do we do about Canada? Is Canada just going to be able to break away? I guess so. Do we get any of this? Newfoundland, all that? No. Oh well. Take Malta, take Cyprus, get all this done. I could have maybe just annexed everything and left them as a puppet, but I don't know. It's whatever. What's left even? Belize and the Melanesian, Melanesian Confederation satellite this. Take all that and all these states here. Let me just say take all states and then release the United Kingdom as a puppet. So in turn, done. So let's release the UK as a puppet and that is going to be that. So where's the UK here? UK, I gotta go all the way down. United Kingdom, release them. Yes. And now we basically took the colonial empire of Britain and made it our own. And we're no longer at war with anyone, but we do have a very grand victory over the old-time rival of France. And so Horatio Dundas is going to lead Great Britain now, a guy with a generic portrait. Let's now bring the French army and do something with them. And I may have to convert all these units of the 5th and 6th army and the 4th army to infantry divisions down the line. That will take some time, though. But I'm going to end what is going to be part 1 of my... France Bonapartist path, well, France Napoleon path playthrough in Hearts of Iron for here. Part 2 will be on its way.